Now, let's go to that trade story we mentioned. The UK will need almost a million new plumbers, bricklayers and other tradespeople by 2032 just to keep pace with demand. This is according to Checker Trade. The issues have been exasperated by an ageing workforce, exodus of EU workers post-Brexit and the cost of living crisis, with the industry facing a perfect storm sure to impact economic growth and key aspects such as house building targets. Uh, Checker Trade's chair is Richard Harpin. He's spearheading two campaigns aimed at encouraging young people into trades, particularly through apprenticeships. Richard joins us now. Good afternoon to you. Hi, Ian. Good afternoon. Nice to have you with us. I mean, this is great news, of course. We talk a lot on this programme about apprenticeships. The, you know, once upon a time, it was a... A, a, a th standard thing, wasn't it? Some kids left school, they became bricklayers or plumbers, whatever. Um, that doesn't seem to resonate in the same way with some young people who are usually told to go off to university, otherwise there's no hope for you. I think that is the real problem, that um, at school kids today have been taught that um, let's go to university and apprenticeships are the poor relation, and that's um, definitely, definitely not the case because... Um, there's a lot of money to earn as a um, employed plumber or electrician or heating engineer between um, 34,000 and 40,000 a year yep. without taking on a load of student debt. And if these people then, once they've um, worked for a small employer, decide they want to set up their own plumbing or heating or electrics business, they could be making um, 75 or 80,000 pounds they're on checker trade, we're feeding them a um, source of customers and they enjoy running their uh, business. And in terms of the the numbers here, Richard, I mean, it, it, this is staggering. I mean, a million new, I mean, collectively, so you're talking about bricklayers and other tradespeople, but the like, we could be a million short in less than 10 years. I mean, that's not just a substantial number, that is a, it's a game changing, right, in terms of our infrastructure. And that is a real crisis, and that's why we need to do something about it. And on apprenticeships, that's saying, actually, there is a really exciting route. Um, we've launched today um, Get In The Game, and that's all about connecting 14-year-olds uh, uh, through to 25-year-olds to um, uh, find a trades business where they can do a formal apprenticeship and uh, learn a trade. Um, We've also got Try a Trade that we're um, uh, launching across all schools in the country, having done a uh, really successful pilot in the West Midlands area. And that's around getting local tradespeople into schools, running a trade show and saying, come and spend a day with me on my van. Um, I'll, I'll show you what it's like. And then come and take an apprenticeship. So um, we really need to have more apprenticeships. So of that a million trades that we need, we need to plug the gap. About a quarter of that needs to come through school leavers taking on a trade apprenticeship. Yeah. And again, just to come back to where we started this, it was um, certainly when I was at school, it was never... I mean, if you wanted to become a bricklayer and became an apprentice bricklayer, that was the kid you kind of envied. I mean, that was like, wow, that's a, a solid job, it's a real skill, and you're probably going to have a job for life. That's where we need to get back to, uh, but we can't look back. We've got to look forward and we've got to address this. So the other thing that we have is um, trade up. And that's saying that if you're unfortunately a uh, redundant Wilco worker, you're good with your hands, you've done all your own DIY in your home, why don't you retrain and learn a trade as a competent adult aged um, 40 on average? Uh, we can train you to be a plumber or an electrician or a joiner within 12 months. And that's working with a range of retraining providers in the uh, in the UK. And I think that's a great addition to the apprentice program. Indeed. Richard, thank you for your time, sir. Richard Harpin is the chair of Checker Trade. I mean, just check those figures again. Almost a million new plumbers, bricklayers and other tradespeople by 2032. It's nine years away. Uh, it's not long at all. You need to start recruiting now. What, what's happened to those kind of areas, those trades where school leavers are, are not interested? Uh, I mean, there must be... 
there's obviously you've got kids that will naturally go to university no matter what okay they want to go to university they've got their heart set on it they might not know why but it's so ingrained now that you go that there's no real question mark I mean I told you a friend's daughter recently um, I, I mentioned this a couple of weeks ago a a absolutely unthinkable that you know I, I might as well have told her to cut her own hand off when I said have you thought about not going to university it was the most preposterous suggestion ever uh, but it should be an option for some, but you can't do both, of course, but it should be an option. And where are the schools not encouraging kids to do apprenticeships? Um, and what about that whole thing of, you know, again, this goes back. We all have a romantic notion and rose-coloured glasses of what things used to be. But I, my cousins were bricklayers, my uncle was a bricklayer, my dad was a painter and decorator, so we had a lot of that going on in the family. So therefore, most of the people my dad knew, people who would show up at the house, etc., were in similar jobs, whether they were plumbers or sparkies, whatever they happened to be. Uh, but there was, there was a thing as well of, of kids leaving school and just walking around building sites, going, have you got any jobs, basically? Uh, not in the sort of um, Yossa Hughes sense of the word, just genuinely saying, look, I've just left school looking for an apprenticeship or I, I want to be a labourer. My mate got a job as a labourer. Um, he didn't really want to follow uh, bricklaying as a, a skill. Uh, but, and it was, you know, it was hard work, but it was a full day's work and he was earning good money. I remember that. He was doing really well. And off he went every single day. Um, he came back with stories of plenty. Um, thoroughly enjoyed the kick while he was there and that happened because he had a mooch around some building sites and asked and that wasn't un it was really quite normal to do that um, the most normal thing in the world not sure that exists any longer